совершенно другой поединок. Ой-ой-ой! И тут же пробивается в клинч. Ой-ой-ой! Unleashing Havoc, the most ferocious moments of Badahari's kickboxing career. Over two decades in the ring, the K1 prodigy has built a fearsome reputation through earth-shattering battles and dramatic one-punch knockouts. He's collected prestigious titles and is synonymous with non-stop action. In this edition of Kickboxing Legends, we present the chronicles of head-bashing by Badahari, the most charming bad boy in K1. The future champ was born in the Netherlands in 1984, raised in a family of Moroccan immigrants. Introduced to kickboxing by his father at the age of seven, young Harry learned to stand up to bullies, and soon he was not just dealing with street cooligans, but also leading them. As a teenager, Harry had the fortune of training with Tom Herring, known as the godfather of Dutch kickboxing, at the famous Chakareki gym. Despite Harry's slim build and unassuming appearance, Coach Herring taught him how to deliver powerful punches and sharp kicks. By the age of 18, Harry had about 40 amateur fights under his belt, and in 2002, he transitioned to the professional ranks as a knockout artist. His achievements drew attention, and in June 2003, he faced Belarusian Alexei Ignashov on short notice, a renowned figure in the sport. Despite a 40-pound weight disadvantage, Hari won convincingly. Over the next two years, Hari continued to gain experience in regional competitions, consistently adding to his win column. He faced opponents like Gokun Seki, a fighter known for his knockout power, and proved his mettle. In 2005, Hari met Stephen Lecko, known as Lightning, and despite the German's tough reputation, Hari emerged victorious. The highlight of 2005 was his encounter with Peter Graham, which ended with an unfortunate at broken jaw for Hari. Following that loss, Hari decided to leave the Chakureki gym and train with Mike Passimir. Around the same time, he received an invitation from K1 to participate in the next World Grand Prix as a reserve. In November 2005, Hari faced Ruslan Karayev. In their first meeting, he lost to Karayev and was determined to seek revenge. In the semi-finals, a rapid-fire combination in the red corner, and the kill's been put up by the Hari! Hari succeeded in defeating Karayev in a thrilling rematch. Harry's upward trajectory continued, and he faced Peter Graham in March 2006. The fight ended in Harry's favor, marking his dominance over the New Zealander. The pinnacle of 2006 was his meeting with Yusuke Fujimoto, where Harry secured the K1 heavyweight title, the Quick Knockout. Declaring Bada Hari officially as the K1 under 100 kilo world heavyweight champion. In December 2006, Hari faced the towering Hong Man Choi, who stood at 7 feet 2 inches. Despite the significant size difference, Hari defeated Choi, showcasing his skills. In 2007, Hari took part in his first K1 World Grand Prix. He encountered Remy Bonjeski in the quarterfinals and, despite a valiant effort, faced a close loss by decision. In a rematch against Stephen Lecko in a reserve bout, Hari sought to redeem himself. He achieved victory in this thrilling encounter. The next year, Hari set his sights on the K1 European title. He faced Bata Summer in a showdown that lasted less than six minutes, and Hari emerged as the victor. However, Hari faced controversy in a fight against Hesti Gerges, where he was disqualified for using illegal strikes. It was despite Hari's extensive experience and accomplishments in the ring, it was Jajendal's tenacity and well-thought-out tactics that secured a decisive victory, preventing Hari from securing a spot in the prestigious Gilori Grand Prix. This recent defeat for Hari adds to a series of losses he has endured in recent years, bringing his total losses to 17 out of over one. 123 fights. Badahari has an amazing record and we celebrate his greatness. What do you think? Would you consider Badahari as one of the great kickboxers? If you liked this video, check out this next one.